Hello everybody, this is C4 Explorer, and I uh, have decided to reshoot a couple videos of this uh, asylum property I found, and this, this building is one of them that I felt like the lighting wasn't great, and I really wanted to capture uh, capture this in the best po possible light, I suppose is what you could say. Um, unfortunately, I've forgotten my tripod, so this is going to be a lot shakier than I would like it to. Um, as you can tell, this is a very old building, so I'm going to have to be very careful of where I step. But it's quite a fascinating place to see. Um, this particular building was modeled off of the Kirkbride Asylum Plan. I don't think it's it's considered a Kirkbride per se, but it's definitely like there's a lot of influences of that, that particular type of architecture that was used in uh, various asylums in the uh, 1800s and very early 1900s. Curved, uh, curved corners, these transoms and stuff. Uh, one feature that I uh, that I had pointed out to me, I did a tour of a, a Kirkbride in West Virginia, was like these windows. If you look at them, you really can't tell that they're barred. But if you kind of step over to one side or the other, you can actually see the bars. Um, these, these hospitals were, were built to encourage healing and progress um, in their construction, their coloration, design, and everything um, in an effort to try to keep patients from thinking that they're in prison, that they're here to get better, ideally. Really quite a fascinating old design. It's really cool to uh, be able to see one of these unique type structures. This bathroom here, unfortunately, there's some graffiti, but you can see some of the original tile work. an arch ceiling. Modern light. Fortunately, no drop ceilings, so, you know, that's, uh, that's a good thing. Got part of the bed frame here. Yeah, you come into this area, you can already see, like, this room has already collapsed. You can see the floor. Right there. Well, what, what's our ceiling at the moment is sloping. Got a little bed here. And really, people, I I know this sounds like a stupid thing to say under the circ the current circumstances. Like normally, I would never want to attempt a building like this because it's so obviously coming down. Um, but this one, with all the Kirkbride designs in it and everything, is just one of those I couldn't pass up. Um, you know, just being able to see it. But there are some places that we're definitely going to avoid. some stairs. Oh, yikes. Oh yeah, this is the room we 
with the uh, hospital beds. There's hospital beds everywhere. Got a wheelchair wheel here. Some trays that they would have used to bring in food and stuff. This here, like just the way these windows are constructed to me is just awesome. Got more beds stacked up over there. This is, this is where it starts getting really treacherous. For some reason, there's cats all over the place. Boxes of tats. Yeah. random stuff in here. monitors Have some ventilators. got a board here it doesn't really say it looks like a bulletin board and says nothing but current on it Let's see we have another prob probably or possibly a patient room. This is the part that uh, I gotta be really careful on. As you can see, the floor just slants right over there. Uh, that was like an old tray or something. Another hospital bed, another wheelchair wheel that actually has the tire on it. A very collapsed area so there's obviously no point to even try to go over there we have this little room here yeah that's nothing but collapse I think my parents had that same pattern on some of our dishware and whatnot when I was a kid. Oh, we got some curtains still hanging on the window. Yeah. Okay. You can see the plasters peeled off of the bricks. This might have been some sort of like a nurse's station or, or a kitchen or something. Got an ashtray. staircase. I really can't believe I forgot my tripod, y'all. I'm not sure. I think I, I, I must have taken it out. I was rearranging stuff in my um, Explorer kit and must have just left it out. <laughs> Suicide K2. 
cages on the stairs. Fortunately, the stairs are metal. It doesn't mean they can't give, but at least they're not all leaning and stuff like the ceiling floors are. There we go. The window. Some wooden doors. That is cool. Look how that looks. like much better light in here than what I had the other day. Oh yeah. That's pretty. Over here, remember these? It's like a little tiara. I'm not sure what those colored pieces are. Maybe if they were like bracelets or something, maybe. Very nice water fountain. There. That's cool looking. Up there we have a uh, fire hose reel. That's just cool. We'll head this way first. Some of these rooms, there just isn't a whole lot in them. A couple of them have like old artifacts. There's, oh, here's some like something out of a kitty book. Some old this explorer brought to you by the number 40 and the word tree. Very old Pepsi can. And we have this device here. I'm not entirely sure what that is. No, in one of these rooms, was it this one? No, it wasn't. That one. We still have some of the original light fixtures. One of these rooms had a couple cool pieces of uh, equipment also. I'll have to find those. It's got some curtains to it. the spire. Oh, if I can raise the camera up a bit, yeah. Almost want to head over there, but I don't think I'm going to. This, this, well, especially beyond that brick wall right there. That just looks absolutely deadly. But it makes for kind of a cool view, I suppose. Oh, oh, I see my my screen name, C4, C4 Explore, C4 Energy. find it, but I wish I could remember which room that was in. It, oh, this one here has the floor sinking really badly, so I don't want to go too far in there. But it's an electronic power supply. That almost looks like a face there. Do y'all see that? <laughs> like maybe a profile or somebody looking at you. It's kind of weird. Okay, I want to find that one room. 
Nicole stuff in it. See, that was the stairway. This in. Yes. Yeah, this had this all. I'm guessing a record player or well, it's his film right there. Turntable. I don't know exactly what this is, y'all. A little too vintage for me. Although I know I've seen Duquesne radios. Um, I think I explored a, like a jail with, with a few Duquesne radios. And there's this thing that's sitting back here. I didn't even notice this last time. Is that one of those power supplies? That is heavy, holy crap. Yeah. Uh, whatever that is, that is heavy. This looks kind of like it was set up by somebody, but it's kind of cool. All the peely paint. We have a picture of a freight liner. A boy diving. projector. I guess it's the same as that one over there. It looks like it, yeah, except the turntable's missing. Okay. I just, I can't figure out, I can't wrap my mind around exactly what this does, but it's something with film or something, I don't know. <laughs> if anybody knows, definitely leave it in the comments. Even the uh, ceiling, you can't really tell a lot of it's come off, but it used to have like patterns and stuff on it. I don't know if y'all can see it real well. Let's see if I can find a better place that has, it still has them kind of intact. Well, I guess, the, yeah, the corner over here, this is cool. It's like this big open room, it's like a, maybe it was a solarium or like a social area. For patients. Yeah, you can see up there some of the patterns. Come down and check these windows out. Trying to kind of adjust my light here a little bit. Okay. Come over here. Let's see the bars on the windows. I like this doorway. Oh, ah, you opened the last time. Ah, there we go. Okay. That's probably why they didn't want it to open. Look at that floor. It's terrifying. Okay. Uh, 
Oh yeah. Good amount of light, partially because some of the ceiling is missing. Walk really carefully here. I know what you're thinking. If it's that terrifying, why are you doing it? It's because it's it's a Kirkbride or as close to a Kirkbride as uh, <laughs> as I can get, I guess. Fully abandoned. I can put it on my tombstone, but don't worry, I'm not I'm not gonna fall. That's easy to say. Then the next footage will be me falling, but. This place is definitely cool. Unfortunately, it's probably not going to be explorable much longer. It's really questionable as to if it's even explorable now. Not really. I would highly not recommend this. He said while doing it. <laughs> Oh, that's the stairwell right there. Another cool water fountain. This one's been a little bit smashed, though. really does just fascinate me. It's just so cool. And we're into another solarium. With a big old hole in the wall. <laughs> That's pretty much it uh, for this building. Um, I've said it in other videos. I don't know what order I'm going to put release these videos in. Um, I've done several buildings. I um, have a couple longer explorers. One of them really, like one or two of them didn't real long at all. But, um, you know, I'll get all those out to you. And I'm not sure how much more exploring I'll do today. Um, but I do hope you all have enjoyed this. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite sites that I've been to. I say that about a lot of places, but this one is really unique, especially this particular building. I remember seeing this last time. This is access to the outside, and there's a little sticker that says, Live a Great Story. So I guess that's what I'm doing. <laughs> We'll say the operative word is live, as in survive. So, I think that's about as close as I'm going to get to that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I, I Once again, I hope you all have enjoyed this. Um, you know, very unique place, uh, especially with like the Kirkbride influences in it. Um, you know, of course, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Um, you know, I, I, as always, I thank you all for watching and um, I'll do what I can to keep cranking out videos. Um, kind of running low on ideas. I've said that a few times in videos, but um, you know, I've, I've kind of been traveling here and there. Um, I, I went to go visit my brother and sister after some 
uh, issues that have kind of occurred in my life. Um, of course, I do want to give a big shout out, shout out to them, my brother and uh, his girlfriend, uh, for helping me out and doing what they can to kind of get me back on my feet. Um, you know, you guys don't know how much you guys have helped. Um, you know, so hopefully things will continue to improve and I'll get to, you know, get more awesome videos out uh, to y'all. So, um, I'm taking a long time to sign off here. I just can't stop walking around in this place and I really need to quit doing it because it's not a safe place to be. So, this is Sea Fort Explorer. I'm in an abandoned asylum complex. Um, thanks again for watching. <clears throat> My voice is starting to give. So I will see you all next time. Have a great day and goodbye.